Michigan colleges are recruiting top sports talent. It's not just for the athletic field. CBS News reports Kelly Vaughn reports on the growing esports talent at Eastern Michigan University. The world of video games is rapidly changing. Now, competitive gaming is drawing more and more people around the world, even at the collegiate level. Signing day isn't just for the football stars anymore. Yeah, I got to put on a hat, you know, stand up, like Eastern Michigan University. So that's cool. Jacob Bennett is the 2024 National High School Champion in the game Rocket League. So I can just drive around, hit the ball, and then you got to get it, got to get it there into that net. Eastern Michigan University recruited him to join their over 40 person esports team. Esports is, is a stepping stone for all of our students in, in their lives. Zach Lewis is the university's esports coordinator. Their program is only about a year old, and they already have varsity teams in all of the major collegiate esports and are attracting top talent. But their program focuses on more than just winning. You're gaining immediate access to the community that we've built. You're gaining immediate access to all these resources that are genuinely set up to make you a better, more well-rounded member of society. They offer professional development beyond becoming a pro gamer, like internships and classes in media production and sports and business management. But they also work on personal development. All of our students that are a part of our program will ha have the ability to learn how to cook, how to work out, uh, how to, they'll have access to mental health resources, uh, wellness resources, uh, academic co academic coaching resources. <laughs> Bennett says he's met most of his friends through esports. It's taught him leadership and resilience, and he plans to learn even more while playing for EMU. Being on the team is just—it's going to help me keep my GPA up. It's going to help me just grow with the school, get more involved in the school, and. Yeah, excited for that. Reporting for CBS News Detroit, I'm Kelly Vaughn.